hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Eki if it's your first time seeing me you're welcome today's video is a cut crease look so if you're loving this video already give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos thank you and stay tuned we're going right into this video planning my lid with the pro primer before I put any other thing I always love to prime my lid first I'm blending out the primer you always want to prime your lid before applying eyeshadow because this will just help your eyeshadow to be more pronounced and also give it something to stick on I did my brows off camera if you want to see a detailed brow tutorial I'll be leaving the link in my description box I'll be starting out with my crease using this shade here this eyeshadow palette is from Debbie Luster I always love to start my crease color with a lighter shade of eyeshadow so I'm just blending that out I always dust off the excess from my brush I don't like going in with so much product at a time because little is more next i'll be going in with this shade this is like a a light brown shade so i'll be going in with that as well at my crease but i'll be bringing it down then i'm just blending that out at the inner corner of my eyes and then taking in whatever is left from my brush into the inner corner of my eyes and then just blend and blend so i'm using the brush i used earlier in applying the first shade on my eyes i don't want to use too many brushes because i want this eye look to be as simple as possible and beginners friendly so you can just clean your brush and then reuse it's that's not a problem so you don't need too many tools to create this look are we going into the shade is called umbra from noban beauty i'm using a very small pencil brush i'm just going to be applying this color right on my crease here so i'm using this very small brush so I can get the area that I want that's the reason I'm using a very precise brush and always remember to dust off excess product from your brush so that's the reason you always see me do something like this because I'm dusting off the excess or I tap okay this look it's going to be a very a very simple cut crease that a beginner can do so I'm just blending and blending you want to blend your eyeshadow properly because you don't want a demarcation or you don't want it to look not blended so you have to blend your color or your eyeshadow properly so I'm just taking this upward because I want to bring it to this area like giving it a v-shape and then bring it down to my lash line right here this brush is very small and precise that's the reason I'm getting into my crease the way I want so you can use any precise brush that you want or that you have just using that brush I used earlier in applying the other color or the other shade to blend the edges of my transition color this is because I don't want any harsh lines and I want it to look perfectly blended that's the reason I'm blending using the other brush so that it will give me a nice blend at the edge without demarcation if you've not seen my other videos on eyeshadow for beginners I'll be leaving the link in my description box just check that out 
So I went into this shade here called Saros. I wanted my crease color to look differently. I didn't really like the fact that it's dark. So I'm adding this shade to my crease just to give it a different vibe from the what I initially did. It's time to cut the crease. I'll be using this concealer from Ferrucci. I'll be using this dark. Uh, sorry, I'll be using the lighter shade here from this palette and then Cut my crease. So what I like to do is to just Go in like this From the middle and then I look up To see where my cut crease is supposed to stop so if you if your lid Whatever you apply here is thinning anywhere here you know that that is where you're supposed to cut your crease if you cut it anything lower than that you are going to be smudging your eyeshadow i switch to this angle brush i usually use in uh, highlighting my brows because it's is a little it's more flat and firm for me to use i prefer using this to cut my crease so this step, I don't always like talking. So what I do when I cut my crease, then I just drag the concealer or whatever product you are using, I just drag it down so I will be able to blend. It's actually not easy to cut your crease. I think I prefer to do this on someone other than, than myself because it takes a lot longer when I do cut crease on myself than someone. And it's more easier doing it for somebody than yourself. And then I'll just be blending the edges of that concealer together with my eyeshadow just to give it a smooth blend and make it look nice and clean so i'm just using my fingers to do that you can use your brush if you want going in with my brush just to blend this area so that my product will stay and then I'm blending the edges as well so the next thing I'll be doing is to go in with the color I used earlier and then just blend the edges okay so I'll be using this Nova here I'm applying the shade with a blending brush I use this method in applying my eyeshadow so that I will have enough pigment if I should sweep it I might not have the desired pigment that I want so this is the method I usually use and I feel when I use a blending brush to apply my my color or to apply my eyeshadow color it's it tends to be more pigmented than using a flat brush I don't know if you notice that if you're doing your makeup just let me know at the comment section the thing I do is to use the angle brush I use in cutting my crease I use it to take that eyeshadow to the top because the blending brush cannot get to this angled so I use my angle brush to do that 
and into this shade is like a cream or white color I'll be applying that in my inner corner so I went into that angle brush with the white shade I use to apply the that shade at the end here because I cannot use the the blending brush to apply that I went back into the shade I applied in the middle of my lid to blend out the edges of the white shade I applied so I'm sweeping because I don't want to have a demarcation and then I'm just taking it into the inner corner a bit because I want it to look flawless without demarcation I'm picking these two shades this and this and I'll be using it as my brow bone So guys, we'll be going to the skin now, but first, before we start our skin work, I'm going to be cleansing my face with this micellar water from Mismetics. You always need to clean your skin before you apply your skin product. This berry process is very, very important so that whatever, you see how dirty my skin is. So I'm also taking up the fallout from the eyeshadow. So you always want to do this because there's always something on your skin whether you're seeing it or not. I spray my face with this spray from Flawless Ivy. If you've done your eyeshadow before your skin if you're spraying your face you always want to cover your eyeshadow i didn't do that and that will just get my eyeshadow oh my god next thing i'll be priming my face with the pons primer i always use this to control oil especially around my t-zone you always want to work with a primer that suits your skin type so I'll be using this foundation from Maybelline Super Stay. So I'm just mixing, I'll be mixing both of them together. I'm just adding a little drop of the darker shade. This is um, a, a 362. This is their Truffle Trophy. And while this is the Toffee Caramel, so I'm mixing both of them for my skin i'll be using this flat brush from city color in f06 to apply my eyes <laughs> to apply my foundation this foundation is full coverage if you are dealing with hyperpigmentation acne prone skin or dark spots i think this foundation will do justice this is one of my go-to drugstore products because it just covers your imperfection perfectly then the next thing i like to do is to go in with my beauty sponge this is from magic professional so i just go in with that and blend the foundation out this is a damn beauty sponge by the way I don't use a dry sponge. I always make it damp before I use in blending out my foundation because it applies the foundation well and also it reduces the excess products that is supposed to be on your skin and help blend the foundation into your skin properly my lips is feeling dry okay guys if you are still watching this video up to this point you have won yourself 
a thousand naira airtime. I am so happy right now filming this video because I hit the 15 video uploads mark. So I've uploaded up to 15 videos already on my channel. So in my comment section, just go leave a comment right down there and stating the reason why I'm doing this giveaway. Okay, two first persons to leave a comment at my comment section telling me the reason why I'm doing this giveaway of a thousand naira recharge card. Then I'm going to be gifting you with that. And thank you so much for staying tuned to my videos, for always watching, always leaving a comment. I am so happy. If not for you, I will not be here right now filming this video. So I am so happy that you know I was able to hit that mark. It wasn't easy, but I thank God that I did that so this has always been in my mind that once I hit the 15 uploads mark I am going to be doing a giveaway no matter how small it is so just manage that token use it to you know call a friend next I'll be going into this concealer I'll be using this shade under my eye to highlight my under eye this is like a shade lighter than my skin tone if not actually my skin tone i'll be going into this shade here this one is lighter so i'll be using this at the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten that area i'm just blending that concealer out i always like to blend under my eyes last i don't know why i did this now i got carried away and then i started blending my under eye first. I'm setting my under eye using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. This is just to keep my highlighted areas in place. So I'll be using this brush from City Color. This is F04. Um, I'll be setting not baking. Okay. So I'll just be tapping that powder under my eye to set the concealer that I applied. If you blended out your concealer under your eye first, I'll suggest that before you set, you blend it again so you will not have creasing under your eyes because when you set your under eyes creased, that is what you are going to have. I like to use a small brush to set the bridge of my nose. This is a city color in the name is almost rocked up. This is LO2. This is what I use in setting the bridge of my nose because I want it to be precise. I'm doing the rest of my face off camera and I'll be back. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and stay beautiful till I come your way next time. Bye, guys.